So here's just a really simple drop shadow to go in and put under a floating object. And it doesn't need to be difficult. I'm actually going to use the one of my selection tools to create a drop shadow. In fact, this one I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool. And I'm going to put it under my coin and I'm going to sample the yellow here and give it a very dark yellow. Dark, dark, dark. And I'm going to fill in my drop shadow there. Now this is a very iconic looking drop shadow, but what I'd like to do is just blur this. So filter, Gaussian blur, and I can blur my drop shadow like so. Now this is a layer. I'm going to transform this, Command T, and I'm just going to distort this to fit the angle of my coin so that it makes it look like my drop shadow is working like it should. And if I wanted to create a little darker highlight in here, a real simple way of doing that is not starting over. I'm just going to take my shadow, and if I duplicate my shadow here, I can just transform this into a smaller size right here. And of course, if I multiply this, it's going to make it a little bit darker. Multiply this as well. And I can have my little drop shadow so that this object is sitting very high. If I were to take this, and put it down low, put it right there, you can see that it really wouldn't look very realistic. So in this case, what I would do to make it look realistic, sitting on there, again, I would put my anchor shadow in, and take my brush, very small brush, go in and just apply a slight anchor shadow on that object right there to make that look like we have shadow. I can move that up, move that down, and then zoom out. I can see that I have my little shadow right there. That simple.